we wanted Sam and today is Friday for me. Happy Friday. It's May 12th and I thought I would vlog this weekend and also use this as a time to include my trip from Montreal. It's my first full week back and it's been a little rough. Uh, I went to Montreal last week for from Wednesday to Saturday and I was gonna do a whole separate video but it's just the quality was terrible like I don't know what I was filming and it just didn't flow I'm gonna include clips that I think are okay enough to share with you and some pictures the food the people were amazing Montreal is such a great city if you are on the fence at all or you're planning a trip go it is such a great city clean people were friendly just a great great time um, I am parked at work it's about seven 20-ish. I'm gonna go in and I will check in with you throughout this weekend. We came to Kimchi Hana, one of our favorite Korean places, and we started eating already, but those are the banchans. That one is really good. All the red stuff is good. I, I mean, we like everything here, but those are our favorites. And then I'm trying clam soup for the first time. I tasted the broth. It tastes really good. The J Bukum. It looks different than songs horribly, but the Hue Machem. This is we get this it's standing order. We get this every time. It's so good. We got home from dinner and I'm so full, but right now I'm just finishing up my grandmother's Mother's Day gift. We're gonna take out take her out for lunch tomorrow. And you know, I was too late to order flowers. I always forget this that you need to order way in advance for Mother's Day. Um but I got this off of Amazon. It was $19.99, I think, with 5% off, 5% uh, coupon. Um, I wanted the pinker one, but they only had this one delivery for today. I didn't want a chance of, to get it tomorrow. Anyway, so yeah, this is, I believe, the peonies, the white. But I think they're pretty. And then I added, uh, this wasn't the vase that came with it. Um, I didn't like that one for this. But I added uh, pearls and another gold necklace that I have, and I thought it made it so pretty. And that way she doesn't have to order it, she'll have it forever. Just popping my face in. It is Saturday, about 11.30. We're about to head out to see my grandmother and my stepdad uh, for a Mother's Day lunch. And I don't, I'm not going to put any makeup on, I'm just not feeling it I, sometimes I do put a little bit but lately I just I've just put maybe a little bit of powder foundation under my eyes um because I do tend to get like dark circles anyway hopefully it'll be a nice lunch I'm bringing my grandmother some goodies back from Montreal and things I've picked up for her uh during the past couple of weeks and drinking coffee out in my Montreal mug and just had such a great time and it's nice to have those memories Although, I didn't get this mug from Montreal. Uh, my boyfriend had caught in that one. He went five years ago. Okay, see ya. Hey, oh, sorry, bless you. We are back from our Mother's Day lunch. It was so good, and we had a nice conversation. And now I'm back. I took a longer than usual nap, and you know when you wake up and you're, I don't know if you've seen that Instagram reel where it's the white bear coming out of hibernation, and it looks crazy. That's what I feel like. Anyway, um, as you do when you're waking up and you're thinking about life, I might, I so I've tried ordering, um, I tried ordering like kind of like a kiddie pool for last summer and it didn't work out. I don't know. It just it seemed to be deflating. So now I think I'm going to try a frame pool. Uh, not too big. It's really only for me in the summertime to cool off and just lounge about and maybe have some pool drinks. Um... And I did get a couple of gift cards from Amazon for Teacher Appreciation Week, which was so lovely. Our families did a great job showing their appreciation. And even though I'm not a teacher, uh, they included me and the other para that's working in the classroom. Sorry, there's like a dog here, of course, right over there. Um, and one family in particular were so generous with us. And I was not expecting an Amazon gift card at all from the families. Um, so yeah, a little extra Amazon money lying around and I thought it would go towards 
getting a pull because I know I'm just getting a small frame rectangular pull I think I'm leaning towards I'll try to show it right there and you need like a pool cover and I think this pool doesn't come with stairs so there's a lot of extra cost involved but I'm thinking we're not really going to take big trips maybe a couple of weekend trips here and there uh, our Montreal trip was sort of another trip that we took this year and I know we're going to be home a lot this summer and I'm like if I'm going to be home I really want to enjoy the backyard and I grew up with a pool so it's kind of good memories for me anyway still thinking about it let me know your thoughts on these types of pools and how you do you find it easy to maintain hard to maintain uh, and then Steve went to the gym he, when he comes back I have to do a couple of returns um, but yeah that's just what I'm doing right now I'm here with this queen and I'm giving her a rub because she looks like she's will accept them sometimes you know she doesn't she's a Sheba their temperaments are I don't know it could go either way most of the time she's just oh look at this oh yeah yeah that's okay good girl oh my god excuse those stains good girl belly belly yes good girl we did so many things and I didn't film any of it. First, we dropped off at Whole Foods and Amazon Return, which we couldn't fit into the things because somebody had put a huge black garbage bag of their returns, I guess, which you're not supposed to do. Uh, then we stopped by Uniqlo. I had to return a shirt, and you could only return, I think, to the store that you bought, which is fine because it's near us. Um, and then we went to Lowe's. We got that for Steve's mom. We're going to visit tomorrow, and I thought this looked really healthy. And it's in a pot already, so she doesn't have to do much. And then I got this one for myself. It looks so healthy, and I've always wanted a pathos. Uh, this is a golden one. It just looked super healthy, and I may even separate them and put them into different pots. And then we decided for dinner uh, to get from a place called Coca. It's like a Middle Eastern. They do burgers. Uh, and I got the veggie burger actually it looks pretty good um i will be back with a review and then steve look at him he got a bunch of stuff i watched you to see it looks really like meat and it tastes like meat and it has the same texture it's really really good the flavors are really nice and the bun is soft the it really does taste like um a meat burger um uh, it's good very, very good. Good morning. It's Sunday morning and the birds are alive and well. A blue cardinal, uh, sorry, a blue jay usually comes here and it was here this morning, but I was too slow to get a picture of it. Uh, but we do have a water fountain, not water fountain, a bird bath, uh, but I forgot to put water in there. But this blue jay, the same one always comes. It's a big boy. But that's not a blue jay. <laughs> I just did uh, my makeup very, very basic. Just powder, mascara, and a little chapstick. And then I decided to wear this headband. And then this is a top. It's from a movie. I love it. I love the sleeves. And I'm just wearing dark jeans. Okay. <laughs> you could say what it is. I don't know how to be. <laughs> it's Calderetta. I know that. <laughs> it's rice. <laughs> Ooh, we're going around. Yeah, we're going around. Paella. Yeah. That's not a. <laughs> yeah. That's... What is that? Yeah. Yeah. At Target, there's Steve looking for the bathroom. I'll just do a quick call. We got pie crust because I want to. Oh, it's deep dish. I want to make a, a quiche maybe for dinner this week. Lettuce, bell pepper, salsa, ground pork because it's a great price. Creamer. I like this one. Usually I get the caramel macchiato, but I also like this one as well. And then I got this strawberry lemonade uh, from Market Pantry. Target's brand. It's my favorite sparkling water. I feel like it's the only one that really does taste like it's sweet. Um, and it gives the closest flavor to, like, feeling to soda, I get. 
Um, so I got eight bottles of those because the ones near us, we're at the Burlington, if you're familiar with Jersey, we're at the Burlington Target, and um, we usually go to the one by Addison, New Jersey. Uh, but this one is very nice. And they had a bunch of those, so I stocked up. Oh, here's their, um, of course, I have to pass by their makeup section. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Going off-road. And we have even more food, which is fine because I'm hungry. Again, rice. Uh, this is curry steak, romaine, chicken with broccoli, and I'm not going to open this, but single bowl may fun, and chicken wings. Hey, I am in my office slash closet. I'm starting to get ready for tomorrow. It's another work week. All of the Mother's Day festivities are over. It's about 8 p.m. Um, I had a really nice Mother's Day weekend. I hope you for those of you that celebrate, I hope you had a great, great Mother's Day. And it was, there was, the weather was perfect. There was hardly any traffic. I find that certain holidays like Mother's Day and Thanksgiving, the roads are crazy. Uh, but we were very lucky yesterday. Lunch was great with my grandmother. And today we went to Steve's mom's house and she has a brand new house. It's beautiful. And we had brought her a plant because I want I didn't want to come empty handed, but she's like starting her own nursery. It seems like there's propagation going on and just plants everywhere, uh, which I thought was kind of funny. But it was a really, really nice weekend. And I thought I would kind of close out the vlog with some things that I wanted to share with you that I've gotten. I was going to do, do, do a whole separate video, but I thought I'll just share it with you now. And I'm going to first start with Montreal stuff. And I have decided, I'm not, I was playing around with the idea of including clips. I think I said that in the beginning of this video, uh, putting the clips and talking about them with you. But it's just the clips are not good. I have to be better about, it's kind of like, I guess I'm a little bit embarrassed to film. Like when I'm going out to a restaurant or I'm at a store, uh, but I try to be better about it this weekend or at least take clips and then I'll do a voiceover. I don't know. I'm just not very good. Um, but hopefully <laughs> you will, you follow me on Instagram and you, I, what I have decided to do is just post pictures of each day and I haven't done the last day, uh, but that will be up before this vlog is up anyway. If you wanted to go over there, the pictures do it more justice. I loved Montreal. I We wanna go back sooner rather than later. And we just had a good time. It was, even though we walked a lot, it was a very walkable city, very clean. The people are super friendly. The food was good. The food I find, the places that we went to were on the pricier side. Uh, but the exchange rate right now is amazing and if you're on the fence, I would say go. We had an amazing time and it was super, super clean. Loved it. And very dog friendly if you have dogs. Uh, the first thing I want to share with you is, uh, from Montreal, is this Been There series from Starbucks. Now we have the Montreal one and I wanted to get the one that just says Canada on it. Love these mugs. I think they're kind of a fun way to um they're like the new shot glasses i used to collect shot glasses and i had so many and i never used them um but i actually do use the starbucks mugs and i don't have a ton of them i have maybe like four um from the places that i visited next i stopped by uniqlo we do have one we do have a couple near us but they had this crazy t-shirt section like it was a whole wing of the store just for t-shirts uh, from past lines from current ones and I saw this Disney one that says 101 fun and then on the back 101 Dalmatians they had a bunch of cute stuff I really like this one though and my favorite thing from them is the airism things my airism undershirts which I wear I'm wearing one right now uh, I got two, the nude and the black, and I like these because, so I don't particularly, so they have two kinds. The one I'm currently wearing now, which is, has seams on it, 
and they're visible. And then there's a, they had another kind that's no seams, but I don't particularly like that one, but I feel like this is like gonna be a good hybrid. And then the last thing from there is this hoodie, Air is a hoodie, and I figured this would be great for the summertime since the weather's warming up. I don't want to wear like that fleecy, heavy hoodie material. I thought this would be really good. And then the last thing I got was this Bioderma. I've always been curious about it. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a good deal, but it was very comparable to here. Price-wise, I picked it up. And then, and now for some non-Montreal related things. Uh, my sister got me this bag from Home Goods, and I've just been throwing a bunch of stuff in there that I want to share with you. Lots of skincare things. Uh, this is a oil cleanser by Softimo. I know there's another one that's, I think, pink. Uh, but I had gotten this one. And then this is from Round Lab. It's an ampule. Got, I believe, both of them from H Mart. And then two face oils. I've been into face oils lately. Uh, both from Derma E. This is the anti-wrinkle anti treatment oil. And then this one is the vitamin C glow face oil. Two setting mist, uh, Revolution Infi Infinite Mattifying 16 hour spray. And then this one sounds so gimmicky, but I was kind of interested in it. The Elf Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Setting Mist. The Sarah Hap, um, which one? The Lip Scrub. And then Versed. Baby Cheeks All in One Hydrating Milk. Doesn't that look so pretty? I kind of fell in love with the packaging. Then, oh, my sister, I'm not sure where she got this from, but maybe Daiso. It's a makeup brush cleaner. Also, I forgot from where, but a cell phone case with daisies on it. Oh, this is. <laughs> I, all my shirts have oil stains on them and I've been trying everything. I'm going to try this one. This got really good reviews. It's the Grease Busting Foam by Shout. And I'll end with something kind of funny. Oh, a bunch of pens. My sister got me a bunch of pens. Look at this one. It's so cute. Just a bunch of pens got from Asia. Look at this. So cute. Gel. And then the last thing is this. I have seen this recently. I forgot what store. So this is basically, <laughs> you put this like on your chin and it's supposed to like, you know, create this line, which I think is so funny. Anyway, that is the end of my weekend vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and got a glimpse, glimpse into my life. Uh, I kind of wish I did more work stuff on Friday, but just there's no time during the day to stop and film really uh it's just been really hectic this year and we're kind of getting into the final stretch which is really exciting and what's keeping me going i do love my job but the last few years have been really really tough this year is no exception and um hopefully we will end on a high note and yeah i hope you are all doing well and i'll talk to you soon bye